Good morning, everybody. Happy yard sale Saturday. Wasn't sure we were going to get to go today or not after yesterday, but we decided we needed a break. We ended up, yesterday we got almost five inches of rain, and the few preceding days to that, we had already gotten four inches. So we got a lot of rain. That made almost nine inches of rain in those few days this week. And we did get water in our downstairs basement, but thank the Lord we didn't get any in the family room. John and I sucked water with a shop vac from about 10.30 until I'd say at least 3.30. And we did keep it from going to the family room, so that was a blessing. But we were wore out. I don't know how many vacuums full of water we emptied in the drain down there but at least we were able to contain it it's a mess outside we've already halfway blew the patio and the driveway off but uh, we've got a lot of cleanup in the yard lots of pieces of limbs and twigs and leaves and a million acorns but that's okay we are so much luckier than a lot of people so i'm thankful for that and we need to continue to remember everyone in our prayers that were in the past of the hurricane because there was so much damage and devastation and loss of lives everywhere. So let's continue to remember everyone that was affected by the hurricane and the storms. So I appreciate all of y'all. I appreciate your prayers and I know everyone else will too. Well, we ended up, we had a neighborhood sale and we had a couple other sales. But the first sale we went to, it was mostly dog stuff, and they weren't fully set up, so we decided to go on to the neighborhood sale. So on the way to the neighborhood sale, we stopped at one house, and I did buy a um, few things there. I got some Christmas pins and an old uh, vintage print for $5. All the rest of the things we got was at just one house in the neighborhood sale. And I know what y'all are going to say. We are the luckiest people on earth. Well, I think today we really were. And we got some real treasures at that sale. And the people were so nice. Everything was dirt cheap. They wanted to get rid of it. And they even loaded the car for us. So we were thankful for that. So we had a good morning. And I want to show you all the treasures we did get. So I hope all of you all stayed safe. And I hope if you had any damage that it'll get remedied soon. So I'll keep everyone in my prayers and I know you'll do the same. So let's get started on this video. I'll just kind of show you stuff's on two tables. And I know the first thing you see is this cupboard. This is a vintage cupboard. And it's been painted black that was only $25 <laughs> it's nice and clean inside the drawers work good the drawers even have shelf liner in it so this is good display and storage and don't ask me what I'm gonna do with it that's the question I asked John when he said he wanted it I said what are we gonna do with it he said you'll figure it out <laughs> so I guess I will it may end up in the summer room or who knows where, but for $25, John said it would have hurt him gravely to have left it. And at this sale, we probably would have cleaned the woman totally out if we'd have still had our shop because she had some wonderful things. Not things I particularly needed for my house, but things that other people I know would have loved to have had. But, you know, you have to draw the line and just get things that you think you'll use. All the things we got from that one house was $60, and that included the $25 cupboard. And then I spent $5 on the vintage Christmas pins and the print. So, another thing we got at that house, and this tub is heavy as it can be, and I definitely think it's vintage by the way it's made and when I looked at the bottom of it. Like I said, it is super heavy. That's packing for something we bought down in there. I wanted to keep that for right now. But that was included. When I started first asking her prices, most everything was 2 and $3. So 
I couldn't believe it. I mean, honestly, I just couldn't believe it. But like I said, a total, including the $25 cupboard, was $60. Okay, another thing I got was this Rusty Krusty, as y'all say, old vintage scale. Look at that rusty moon. Isn't that the neatest thing? I just love that. And some of you may remember that John loves Willie Ray. And you just don't see Willie Ray. I'm not sure it's even made anymore. And if you look on eBay or anywhere, it's really expensive. So, you see that box back there? I didn't even know what was in it. When she's, she's you know, with the cheap prices, everything was so cheap. I just picked the box up because I knew John would love it regardless. But look what was in it. A Halloween Willie Ray with them sitting on the big cat. And this is a big piece. Back in the day when Willie Ray was sold, that probably would have been close to $100. So John was thrilled to death to get a Halloween. Then we got the Willie Ray Nativity. And it even had the angel Back there in there is the manger with a little bunny on the baby Jesus. You have all of these figures and two sheep and then a cow with the cat on it. This set probably would have been, I'd say, $150, $200 because, like I said, Willie Ray was not inexpensive. I think I might hear my cat coming. There's Cat coming. Listen at him. Hi, baby. I see you, darling. He hated that storm yesterday. Okay, at the one sale that we went to, where I spent $5, I got this vintage pink lady print and all these cute Christmas pins. The lady said her mother wore one of these every time she went to church. So I was happy to get that for five dollars. Okay, everything else on this table, this is more that was included in that sixty dollars. Okay, back in the back, those are two beautiful vintage courier knives. This is the American Homestead Summer. And this is the American Homestead Winter. Just love them. And then this adorable snowman, Warm Winter Wishes. These two Halloween prints. This vintage crock, and it is a vintage one. You can tell by the bottom. It has a blue stripe. And then this wonderful candle holder. I love this. I use a lot of battery-operated candles. I'm watching a cat because I'm scared to death he's going to get on that cupboard and turn it over and John would die. <laughs> and then look at that gorgeous clock. She said it was working the last time I used it, but it had been a while. And the key is in there. She said you may be able to get it working. And when I'd asked the price of that, it was $3. Kitty cat, let's don't knock the Willie Rays over. Your daddy would cry. Daddy would cry if you broke them. Let me lay them down. Excuse me, y'all. Y'all know how it is when you got a cat. If they broke John, I think he would cry. <laughs> Back to the clock. Can you believe $3? I told her, I said, I collect old clocks, and I said, honestly, I don't care if it works or not, but she said, I believe you might be able to get it to work. I said, well, that would be a bonus, but it's gorgeous, and like I said, it has the key. Look at the detail on it. Then got this Halloween globe, got a whole bag of these primitive stars. John asked me, he says, what are they for? I said, well, you can do anything you want. I said, they'd be good to put in a basket or a bowl, or you could string them up, put them on a tree, whatever. He's going to knock my crock off now. <laughs> Let me slide that back a little bit. 
I'm going to move that too so he doesn't step on it. <laughs> Nothing safe from a cat. And then, I don't know what you call this. Uh, if y'all know what this is called, please tell me. When we used to see these, it was on Cash in the Attic. And I know they said they were used on a fireplace hearth to keep starter stuff in it. Kindling and things to start your fire. It does have a brass handle. And you can tell it's old. But I don't know what you would call that. So if y'all know the official name, please tell me. Y'all know I love it when y'all give me information that I don't know. <laughs> but, like I said, all of that, every single thing except for the pink lady picture and the Christmas pins was $60. So I think we had a wonderful day. Don't you? I hope if y'all went to sales today that you had a wonderful day. We needed the break. We should have stayed home and cleaned, started cleaning. Plus, I had to move the world in the basement to make sure that it didn't get water because I didn't know how far the water was going to go. And I moved some things in the family room too. So I have to go and clean the basement now and put everything back. So as I put things back, I'm going to clean. So that, you know, kind of making me do that. Didn't want to do it. I wanted to decorate today. But, you know, things don't always work out like you plan but like i said we're blessed we didn't have any major damage and we're blessed that water didn't go in the family room and we're blessed that water didn't come in all the sides of the basement so i am truly thankful and prayers were answered so love and blessings to y'all i pray that all of you are safe and i pray if you were not touched by the storm that you continue to remember those that are and if you're able today take a few minutes for yourself and do something that you enjoy we appreciate each and every one of you being here and we are always thankful when you make those sweet comments i love reading each and every one of them so love and blessings to y'all from me and john and baby boy we'll see you again soon till the next time bye bye